Hi everyone, and welcome to our play school. So today, we're going to be talking a lot about colors, which we can all stem from The Artist Who Painted a Blue Horse by Eric Carle, a book we're going to be reading today. But first, let's begin with a welcome song. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. One, two, one, two, three. Good morning. Good morning. Hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning. Hello and how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning. Hello and how are you? In the morning. What a fun welcome song. Now we can get to reading our book, The Artist Who Painted a Blue Horse by Eric Carle. Let's get to it. I am an artist and I paint a blue horse and a red crocodile and a yellow cow and a pink rabbit and a green lion and an orange elephant and a purple fox and a black polar bear and a polka dotted donkey I am a good artist. I'm so glad I got to share this book with you guys. It's been one of my favorites for a really long time. And if we take a look at the back, we can see the colors that the artist used. Blue, red, yellow, green, pink, orange, purple, and black. Before I give your attention to one of my other friends, I'd like to ask you guys a question. Does anyone also like using colors just like the artist in the blue horse? There's a lot of different colors that you can use and you can use them in fun ways that you wouldn't normally see, just like a blue horse or a polka dotted donkey. And here's my friend Libby about to talk about colors in American Sign Language. Hello everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to use American Sign Language to sign the different colors of the rainbow. Let's get started. The first color we're going to learn how to sign is the color blue. So you're going to do the American Sign Language letter B, which looks like this, with your four fingers extended and then your thumb tucked in. And then to sign blue, you're just going to shake it back and forth. And that's how to sign blue in American Sign Language. The next sign is a little bit similar, but now it's for yellow. So now we're going to hold out the letter Y in American Sign Language, which looks like this. You're just going to hold out your pinky and your thumb, and then you're going to shake it back and forth to say yellow. Our next sign is red. So to sign this, you're going to extend just your pointer finger, and then you're going to brush it down on your lips. So that's easy to remember because it's like you're brushing down on your red lips. So red. So to sign pink, it's similar to red because you're going to take the letter P for pink and make it go down on your lips like you're putting pink lipstick on. So pink. 
sign green, you're gonna do the letter G in American Sign Language, looks like this. And then you're gonna wiggle this back and forth. So green. Thank you, Olivia. That was great. Now here's Haley with another song about colors. So now we're gonna sing and dance to a song called Colors, Colors. Then there's a few things you're gonna do. So when the song says red, you're gonna nod your head when it says blue, you're going to bend down and touch your shoe. When the song says green, you're going to jump around. Purple, you're going to walk in a circle. Brown, you're going to dance around. When it says gray, you're going to yell hooray. When it says black, you're going to give a quack like a duck. When it says white, you're going to act like you're flying a kite all over the place. When the song says pink, you're going to take a drink. When the song says yellow, you're going to take a bow. When the song says orange, you're going to laugh out loud. And when the song says magenta, you're going to yell, wow. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Colors, we can name everyone. Colors, make us move and have fun. Colors, we can. Name everyone, colors, make us move and have fun. Red, red, nod your head. Blue, blue, touch your shoe. Green, green, you're a jumping bean. Purple, purple, walk in a circle. Colors, we can name everyone. Colors, make us move and have fun. Colors, we can name everyone. Colors, make us move and have fun. Brown, brown, dance around. Gray, gray, yell hooray. Black, black, give a quack. White, white, fly a kite. Colors, we can name everyone. Colors, make us. Move and have fun Colors, we can name everyone Colors, make us move and have fun Pink, pink, take a drink Yellow now, take a bow Orange now, laugh out loud Magenta now, holler wow Colors, we can name everyone Colors, make us move and have fun Colors, we can name everyone Colors, make us move and have fun Wasn't that a really fun song? Thank you so much, Haley, for sharing that with us. Now here's Luke with a couple funny jokes. Wow, good job, Haley and Leah. That song sounded great. But everyone knows the best part of everyone's day isn't songs, it's jokes. If you don't know, a joke is supposed to make someone laugh. If someone's feeling sad or in a bad mood, use a joke. Jokes can cheer you up. What kind of socks do bears wear? They don't wear socks, they've got bare feet. I thought it was pretty funny, because if you don't know, when you got nothing on your feet, it's called bare feet. and they're bears, so it's pretty funny. What do you do when you find a blue elephant? You cheer her up. If you didn't know, blue's another way to say you're sad. So just cheer up. That was a good one, alright? Anyways, I hope I made you laugh. I hope you had fun. Thanks, Luke, for showing those jokes to us. Now here's Haley again to share with you a fun experiment. Hi, so today we are going to do the walking water experiment. You will need six cups, water, food coloring, paper towels, and something to stir. So you need to get five rectangles of paper towels. You are first going to fold the paper towel three times. You are first going to need to fold it in half the long way. Half again,
and then half the short way. And you will repeat that through all five paper towels. Now you will take each cup and fill them each with one cup of water. Now you are going to add the dye to each cup. For the first cup, we are going to do six drops of red food coloring. Then you will take the straw or something to stir with and mix the color into the water. The next color we are going to do is blue, and we are going to do four drops of blue, and then stir. The next color is green, and we're going to do four drops of green, and stir. The next color we're doing is yellow. So you're going to put six drops of yellow into the water and then stir. This color we're going to make. So you're going to need to do two red and two blue and that will make purple. And the final color we're making is going to be orange. So you're going to need two red and two yellow. Now you're going to take the paper towels that we folded earlier and put one side in one cup and then the other side in the cup next to it. And you're gonna do that for each cup. Now that the paper towels are in, watch as the colors go up the paper towel and meet at the top and look like they're walking from one cup to the other.
Wasn't that experiment really cool? Now here's Michael to show you another song. Hey boys and girls, are you guys ready to listen to What Color It Is by The Learning Station? When the picture comes up, guess what color it is? Have fun. This. What color is this? What color is this? What color is this? Use my eyes to see The colors in the world All around me What color is this? What color is this? What color is this? What color is this? Use my eyes to see the colors in the world all around me. What color is this? What color is this? What color is this? What color is this? Use my eyes to see The colors in the world All around me What color is this? What color is this? What color is this? What color is this? My eyes to see the colors in the world all around me. What color is this? 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 Thanks, Michael. Now here's Olivia to show you a fun craft. So for our next activity, we're going to be doing a craft where we make our own mobiles. Let me teach you how to do it. So what you will need is a printout version of the different animals. It's anything to color with, so color pencils, markers, crayons, anything like that works. And then some string to eventually tie the animals together. So now you could start coloring your animals with whatever colors you want. Now that everything is all colored in, you could start to cut along the outside border. Now that you've finished coloring your different pieces, you could start to put holes in them. Now this part is a little bit tricky, but what you're going to do is grab your string and you're going to start putting the animals on the string. So you're gonna leave a little bit of room on top. And then what I did was tied it through the first animal and tied a knot so it would stay in that place. So now I'm going to add the next animal and I'll show you how I did that. So starting from the bottom again, you're gonna string it through the hole that you made. 
and then find where you wanted it. So the horse was there and I'm gonna keep the cow right here. So I'm gonna tie a knot with the string above it right here just to keep it in place. Make sure not to pull too tight because then you might rip the paper. And now we're gonna continue working from the top to the bottom. I'm gonna add my next animal, which will be the lion. So I'll string that from the bottom. And then I'm going to tie the knot of where I want it. So tie it and make sure the long end stays long. And remember not to pull too tight but you can double knot if you choose. Here we go, so we got our first three animals on and now we'll add the two other ones. Now I'm going to add my elephant. And it doesn't have to be perfect. When you hang it up, it might move around a little, but that's what it's supposed to do. And then finally, the last animal. And then you may choose to cut off the remaining string at the bottom. Just make sure you don't cut too close. And there you go. You can put your finishing touches on it if you want and just make sure they hang the way you want. But it's okay if they don't all face the same way because when it sways, that's how it's supposed to be. I put mine on a clothes hanger. This part's optional, but this just makes it a little easier to hang in other places. That craft was a lot of fun. Now here's Andrew for some more jokes. Hey guys, uh, my name's Andrew, and um, I got some jokes to tell you today. Um, what happens when you throw a white hat into the Black Sea? Oh, it gets wet. Yeah, that was a good one. What did the blueberry ask the banana? How are you peeling? Thanks for those funny jokes, Andrew. Now here's Leah to show you a cool experiment. Now we are going to be doing the rainbow Skittles experiment, and for this you're going to need warm water, a plate, and Skittles. The first step is to take the Skittles and place them in a circle around the plate. Now add the warm water enough to cover the plate, and the warmer the water, the better it will work. Now wait a few minutes and watch as the colors bleed from the Skittles into the water. What a really interesting experiment. Lee is going to come back and show you a cool song as well. Now we're going to sing a color song. This song is called Rock Your Body by Jack Hartman. Colors, rock your body to the colors you see. Shake your head to the color red. Twist your shoes to the color blue. Wiggle like jello to the color yellow. Make your body lean to the color green. Rock your body to the colors. See. Touch your back to the color black Jump up and down to the color brown Stretch to the right to the color white Turn in a circle to the color purple Rock your body to the colors Rock your body to the colors you see up and sway to the color gray Use your brain and think to the color pink Make the shape of an orange to the color orange Hide like a manta to the color magenta Rock your body to the colors Rock your body to the colors you see 
Thanks for that song, Leah. Now here's Jess to show you another craft. We are going to be doing our second craft, so you're gonna need a blank piece of paper, a paintbrush, markers, and paint. So first you're just gonna color your background. I did dirt, grass, and then I did a sun. And then you're going to take your paint and you're going to paint your hand. So you're just going to paint your whole hand. Now once you're done painting your hand, you are going to take your paper and flip it around upside down and then stick your hand on where you want your horse to be. So once you stick on the paper, it will look like that. And then you're going to take your markers and draw a tail on it. And then that's it. And then you can color in where your paint hand was. So that's all we have for our lesson about colors and our reading of the artist who painted a blue horse. We really hope you guys can try out a couple of our experiments and crafts at home. And I also hope that you have a great rest of your year. Take care.